Hello guys, this is Mike, 30 Sim. And if you are new to this channel, well, welcome and thanks for clicking on the video. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back and appreciate your watching the video again. So in this video I will tell you how to adjust your NVIDIA control panel settings even further, tweak them even further and adjust DLSS and get even better quality, sharper image with some extra special settings. So let's take off from this uh, Grand Canyon uh, visitor center and then uh, we have a look over the Grand Canyon and then we jump right into these extra setting options. All right, let's go. Uh, we're set and this is a very confined area. But let's go see if we can make it here. Stay up here because there's a fence behind me. Uh, all right, so let's go up. Over the trees. <laughs> it's not easy, but uh, wow, look at that. Amazing. You take off here and you get this view. And guys, with these settings, even uh, there's a, just small tweaks, which cost you minimum of frame rate. It's still smooth flying. Whoa, man. And uh, I got a sharper cockpit. I can read the instruments better. And I got a, um, a special setting for DLSS. It is, it's, it's called ultra quality. So this is the visitor center. And uh, well, I'll, I will show you real quick in the, um, in the settings menu. Because it's, it's called Ultra Quality, DLSS Ultra Quality, here we go. Let me uh, check real quick in here. Oh. Alright, so I go to General Options. And here it says Ultra Quality. There you go. So it goes from Auto, Ultra Quality, and here's Quality, Balanced, Performance, Ultra Performance, and DLA. Ultra Quality, guys. Uh, discard, resume, here we go, ultra quality, very sharp image, there's the helipad, and uh, still smooth flying, so the, um, the loss of frame rate is minimal, really minimal, it's, this is amazing, and especially for, uh, for the people who like to fly with glass cockpits, those are better readable as well. Not as good as TAA, but almost as good as TAA, with the benefit of DLSS, of course. All right, so let's jump into uh, what we need, and I'll show you which settings you have to change to get this, uh, this quality and uh, performance. To get the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, Google the NVIDIA Profile Inspector and click on this link, Releases Orb MU2K NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Click on it and you will find the latest version, 2.404. From here you download the zip file to your desktop and extract it to a folder on your desktop. To get the special DLSS functions, go to Issues, find 156 DLS related settings added, click on this one, scroll down and download the custom settings names DLSS.zip. Extract this one on your desktop and put the content of this folder into your profile inspector folder. If you have done this correctly, you will now have four files in your NVIDIA Profile Inspector folder. The custom name settings, the exe file, the config files and the reference XML file. 
we can now open the Profile Inspector. Before we start changing any settings, you first want to make a backup of your current settings. You can do this by clicking the button here on the top and export current profile only. Save it, rename it, and you're always good to go to go back to your current settings. If you want to go back to your current settings, just click the next item. It says import user predefined uh, defined profiles. Click on it, import profile, and choose your profile you just saved. If you want to go back to your standard NVIDIA uh, settings, you just click here on the global profile base profile or any other game profile which you can find in here. Just click the NVIDIA logo and it will revert back to your standard NVIDIA default settings. So from here, we're gonna set a few settings. So uh, the uh, frame rate limiter was 30 frames per second that is in the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, frame rate limiter uh, version 3 is off. Application mode is off. Application requested state is off. G-Sync application state force off. Global feature off. Global mode is off. The indicator overlay and the support indicator overlay are both off. Maximum pre-rendered frames 1. Uh, the preferred refresh rate highest available. Triple buffering is off. Ultra low latency off. Low latency is set to off. Vertical sync force off. Vertical sync smooth off. And tear control standard. Alright, scrolling down to anti aliasing. Anti aliasing FXAA is set to off. And FXAA enabled predefined by Devenia, uh, NVIDIA is going to be set to disallowed. Now we're going to scroll to texture filtering. So the anisotropic filter optimization is set to on. Temple optimization on. Filtering mode user defined off. Filtering setting 16 times. That's already in the NVIDIA control panel. And these are going to be set in the game only. That's the LOD bias for DirectX games. And you set your negative LOD bias to clamp. Texture filtering quality to performance. And trilinear optimization on. So now we're going to select the texture filtering for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So first we have to go on the top here. Select Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's the first one, that's MFS 2020. And then we scroll down first to anti-aliasing and first we send a set transparency super sampling to we see, I've got the correct one, AA mode replay mode all. Then we come back here to uh, texture filtering driver controlled LOD bias, we set that one to off. And then we're going to select the LOD bias for DirectX games, which Microsoft Flight Simulator is, to minus 3. And the uh, negative LOD bias, we're going to set that to clamp, quality, high performance, and that's it. And then we go back to the global settings. So now we come back to the base profile. And if you have the extra DLSS settings, uh, installed you will find these three dlss options available here first we're gonna select the force all quality levels to dlaa to off we're gonna use preset f and then forced scale ratio base profile only you're gonna set this at 0 0.0 times of the native resolutions normally Quality mode is 0.67 times of the native resolution. Now we're going to set an extra uh, resolution. That's the ultra quality. And we're going to set it at 0.8 times native resolution. You can also choose 0 0.95, 0 0.9 or 0.75. But just the extra quality and a little bit extra frames per second. You will get... At 0 0.80 I think this works best for me and you just have to play around with these settings which will will work best for you 
So back in the uh, base profile, we're going to set the power management mode to optimal performance. And if you have resizable bar enabled, you can select it here, press it at enabled. For options, we're going to choose um, 081 and 004 for the size limit. There are a few more options which we can set. If we go to other and scroll down to memory allocation policy, set it to moderate pre-allocation. And choose it from here, moderate pre-allocation. Let me scroll down and there we find NVIDIA quality upscaling. Select upscaling on. The variable refresh rate is uh, VSync control enable and virtual reality pre-rendered frames is selected one if you have applied all these settings go to the top right hand corner click apply changes and reboot the computer right, back in the game we go to general options or vr and we're going to select the nvidia dlss super resolution to Ultra quality. That's the new quality setting that we have set in the NVIDIA inspector profile. And the rest of the settings are from my uh, preferred VR settings guide. And if you haven't seen that video, please watch that and then come back here and set this one to ultra quality with the settings that you just set in the NVIDIA profile inspector. So let's launch the game and see what it is like. So here we are in the uh, default Bonanza. And first of all, the instruments are pretty good readable. The MFD, the PFD, the, these are really good readable. I can see the small letters as well, can read it. Uh, there's no wind data. Um, Everything is readable. It is not as good as TAA, I must say that. TAA is better readable. But if you want to have that little extra frame rate performance, then this setting with ultra quality, with DLSS, is a step in the right direction. Especially if you want to fly aircraft like this, the general aviation, with a glass cockpit, those instruments are better readable as well. And even the uh, the normal gouges, they're readable as well. So let's take off. And um, when I look outside, even the textures outside look good. It's uh, just everything is a little bit sharper because we're using 0.8 times the native resolution. Uh, let me uh, undo the parking brake. Stay on center line. Let's go. And see the frame rate is really good here. And off we go. Welcome to the virtual sky. Here it comes up. Still climbing. Still good, I can read the uh, the speed bar, speed length here, altimeter, flaps up, and let's take a left hand turn, and even the textures there, really, yeah, they're, they're sharp, they're good, and it's a, um, a smaller difference than quality mode versus TAA and better frame rate so all in all this is a uh, good step in the right direction here we can see the airport
having a look inside again everything looks good and uh, well if you want to zoom in of course yeah then everything is really sharp readable and zoom out again this really looks good so guys try these settings uh, it's a lot but you can always revert back and if you use my um, preferred VR setup guide which I will link in the description below together with these settings well the, the, the sim just gets better and better every time alright guys happy holidays thanks for watching and um, take care see you in the next video